Have a first winner's quarter by the set. Miles Trap versus Josh and G. Uh, Pikachu versus Rob can be really tough for Rob. Um, the fact that Josh Finn is off to go Rob. Pretty cool. Let's see, uh, let's see how he does. One of the big things that makes this really difficult is the fact that Rob is, uh, well, Rob is kind of heavy. He is a huge target, uh, which makes him fodder for Pikachu's, uh, combos. Not to mention the fact that, uh, Pikachu can go super far off stage against Rob. Uh, and it has, now he has a spike and he has a actually take advantage of the fact that Rob has a little bit of slow movement coming back off the stage, so he's willing to, uh, he can afford to track multiple times against Rob off stage. But Jonathan wants to stay particularly on the stage, he wants to try to make sure he never gets caught off unless something terrible happens. So he's going to try his best to maintain stage control, and it's going to be up to Mouse Rat to bring the energy to that. Interesting option from uh, from Mousetrap under there and managing to stuff out the landing there with that smash. Mousetrap not com not committing to a uh, super high offstage uh, pursuit. That might be the stock. Oh baby. Okay. Just been keeping it really uh, pretty even overall. And that is the one uh, the one redeeming aspect of the match. If Rob's able to get his hands on Pikachu, he is uh, able to cut in some good work and he takes stocks fairly well. Gyro, but a great parry from Mousetrap, defending the Gyro from Shifu. Very nicely done. Alright, uh, that side beat was a little sus. But it's okay, Josh is gonna back on the stage finally after uh, what felt like a million years. And he's got a pretty good chance. He has stage control. He is able to uh, force Mouse Rat to approach him poorly. He will be able to take the stock, but now that he's in the air, Mouse Rat's got a pretty good opportunity to take the stock. An interesting use of uh, back to try to, uh, try to take an early stock. All right, good use of down tilt. You can see like he's not committing 100%. He's like, I don't think this is gonna be true after this. Because usually by the uh, second or third one, most, most players will be able to kind of react to the fact that you've done it multiple times in a row. So they can just DI out and then uh, get out. Ooh, Josh has a really good down smash. Uh, a grab from either player actually is probably going to be able to take the next stock. And Mousetrap SDing under the stage, he went too far. Good use of up tilts. Good use of the platform, frankly. But he's off stage and it's super risky for Jonathan. And he got hit by a forward air. Basically right at the blast zone. No chance to survive that. Good Nair from Josh, I think we just need to step out of the air, and Joshlin has a pretty decent lead, but the, the first time that he gets hit, he's going to have a hard time uh, maintaining it. Mousetrap with a pretty good follow-up on the up tilt. Like, the weight difference is pretty big, but the fact that Mousetrap's allowed to pursue uh, Joshlin super far off stage makes it so that Joshlin can't ever really get comfortable with any kind of lead. Until he has him in a position like this where he might be able to take the stock? No! Not quite. Another like super heavy commitment from uh, Jonathan. And a good attempt on the uh, on Thunder 2. Alright, Jonathan finally uh, 
Monster finally taking a bit of a lead. This could go either way. Jonathan keeps going for those. Oh my god, Mouse Rat going super deep. And this is really what I mean. You didn't get to see much of that for a Mouse Rat. Because uh, Jonathan never was, was very rarely put in a position where that was a lot to happen. But that's really the big thing that makes this, this matchup kind of tough for Rob. Is the fact that uh, is allowed to go super deep off stage and a really well placed Thunder. Barely managing to clip uh, Rob's. Uh, Rob's uh, propeller, or Rob's uh, thingy. I wasn't even looking. I was doing bracket stuff, and I just looked back, and I'm like, "Oh, that's Rob. He's dead." Uh, yeah, this is uh supposedly one of Rob's worst matchups, which uh, now it can be very easy to see why uh, why that might be the case. Follow-ups from Mouse Rat getting the spike and Jesus Christ, really good text from Jonathan. But it still put him in a really bad position and he had a lot of damage racked up now. Probably like way more than he wants to have at this stage of the game. And Mouse Rat keeps just like hitting him with these heavy thunders. Dash attack almost stealing the stock for, uh, for Mouse Rat, but Jonathan managed to DI well enough to, to avoid losing. Ooh man, I'm really surprised that uh, you get hit by that. Really good down smash to punish the landing from the Nair. Very good. See uh, dash attack actually trading with uh, with down tilt. Justin doing a really good job of making it very hard for Mouse Rat to come in to kill. Very nicely done on his part. Oh my goodies of the uh, the gyro, but uh, going a little bit too low there and not able to properly uh, punish the okay. Do you respect the attempt though. And just like that, Mouse Rat is at a percentage where uh, Justin should be able to take the stock with like one or two hits, depending on like what uh, what Justin is able to land. And a side B is going to be enough. And just like that, Justin turns around a match where it's basically a two to three stock match because Mouse Rat got a really good uh, start into a lead, but that lead evaporated in just a moment. And just like that, we're uh, pretty much even up. Don't forget, however, that uh, Jonathan did have a pretty good lead last time, and Mouse Rat managed to pursue him almost down to the blast zone last game multiple times and put pressure on him like they were to take the, the, the set the match. Good roll away from Mouse Rat, moving just out of the, out of uh, Rob's fourth match distance. Mm -hmm. 
Josh are looking for something to finish the match. That forward air is almost enough, but perfect DI from Josh he keeps him in the game. Oh, and a very, uh, unfortunately not, unfortunately not reading that, uh, I don't know if he was reading a jump from, uh, from Miles Rather, but he was gonna, where he's gonna try to attack or shield or grab, but, uh, that getup attack, bro, or that ledge attack, ended up closing, uh, closing it out in Mouse Rat's favor. All right. Next up, we're gonna have uh, Mega versus King Ants. King Ants is a. Uh, K rule DV main. Not really sure where he's from. Let me see my book. Oh, from Brooklyn. Huh, never heard of this guy. Hope he does well. Plays primarily heavies. 